SEO election week here in DCU, and I'm on the Glasnevin campus where I'll be sitting down with two of the candidates running for society's officer, Kat Kane and Sarah Moore. So Kat, can you just tell me a little bit about why you want to run for this position as SOX officer? Societies are a huge part of my life in DCU, probably more so than my actual college life. Um, so I've been so lucky in my first year to have been involved in multiple societies only a little bit. Um, so I got a really good feel for what I loved and what I liked about each society. And the main thing I liked was the community feel. So I never felt alone in DCU. I, I'm from Waterford, so coming up to Dublin was like this huge thing for me. And straight away that was all gone. You know, no nerves, no nothing. Um, so what I want is I want each society to benefit as much as possible. And it's been amazing over the last few years to see people wanting societies that they feel passionate about to come to life. So things like the Rover Society has now been set up, Sober Sock has been set up in my first year, things like that, that people were like, these are really good ideas and that's what we want to do. Mm -hmm. And I want to encourage more of that. I want each person in DC to feel that they have a place that they can go to outside of college, as in work, yeah. and be like, this is my safe space now. This mm -hmm. is where I feel at home in DC. Yeah, Peru, that kind of brings me to my next question because I just want to say, what do you think you could personally bring to the position? I think I'm very outgoing. I'm very social and would do anything for anyone. And that's, a, that sounds really cocky, but a really good trait that I feel I have. And if any questions about societies, I feel I can answer them to the best of my ability um, or would send you in a direction that you need to be. So what I really want to do is help each society and make sure that they benefit, whether it's Africa Sock, whether it's a society with four people in it, or whether it's MPS with a thousand people in it, and they're all, you know, and they're all so passionate about it. Each of those societies are at least gaining something from the year. Yeah. Whether that be from my manifesto, whether that be something extra that they want that I can help them with, that's my main aim. That's what I feel I can bring to it, that I can be that person that will be there for anyone day or night about any questions that they have. Absolutely, and um, now unfortunately last year, or this year, we were without our SOX officer for like a little bit of the year, so just um, for while she was there, what would you do differently, just from comparison to the start of the year? Well, one main thing I want is inter-society events, and that's something I feel very passionate about. Okay. So I want to have complete transparency between the clubs and SOX and the chair people. And uh, what I want is for each society to get to know each other. Because there's so much you could do with each society, you know, things that you would never think of, you know, RAG and every other society would go hand in hand because it's all charity. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing that would stop them. MPS and drama and music and sober sock, all of these events that have a huge impact. And you look at Scoliosis Society, which is newly set up, which is a fantastic cause, and is now going with RAG and MPS and music. And, and all these things that are actually really making this event bigger and better and cheaper for societies to hold. Um, so that's something that's huge. And I want committees to know where they stand mm -hmm. and to have them getting to bond and have team workshops and things like that, which I think is a huge improvement to help each society, to help inter-society events, and to help clubs and socks in the SU mm -hmm make their job a little bit easier as well. Yeah. So and just with the SU, there has been, you could say, a decline in interest in it. This mm -hmm. is the first year since I think it was 2006 that there's actually been only one person running for president. What would you, what do you think could be done to kind of encourage people to, um, you know, participate in events and just be more, have more of an interest in the SU? Well, I've always had an interest in SU. So I've been really lucky that Last year I got to be a class rep. This year I didn't take on anything because I was part of the drama committee and wanted to make that my main focus. Um, I think the people running for SU are very passionate and I think you shouldn't run for something that you're not passionate about. Um, which I think is a very important thing. I would hate to see someone go for something that they kind of only are doing for the fun of it and that's not going to benefit anyone in the long run. I think the SU events this year have been fantastic. And I think the SU have done a fantastic job on gaining interest in these events. I want to encourage more people to understand that it's not all politics. Okay. Whether it be clubs and socks, whether it be the SU exec, it's something that people love. And they're doing things behind the scenes that people don't really see. And I really saw that as class rep last year. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'd be doing something 
that no one would see about placement or engagement or and then at the end of the year they go, well, what did you do? And I'm like, well, I did all these things. But because it wasn't a class night out, they're not really seen, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, and I think people need to kind of understand that a little bit more. I think the people running for BSU are very passionate. And I think that's a very good thing. And as sad as it is about presidents, I think Vito has pro- proven that he wants this more than anything. You know, and, that, and the fact is everyone really that's running has been planning this for some some amount of time you know I know what I want to do in four years time and that's you know yeah and that's and I've wanted this for two years and I've done my research for that amount of time yeah so what I think is to get the SU on board is to have them and societies venture together so I want societies to feel they can go to the exec as long as they can go to me as well and they can go to the people that work in clubs and socks but they can feel they can go to Podge and go, this is an event that I want. Can you help me out here? Mm-hmm. Or whoever is running for, yeah. for us this year. Great. And um, just lastly, um, I know last year the whole amalgamation was kind of an issue with clubs and socks. Um, some events would be on the Glass Nevin campus, they'd be on the, the St. Pat's campus as well. And it's trying to like balance them out. What, would, what do you think could be done in relation to so- um, clubs and societies that would maybe encourage more of an open campus and more of... What would you do to kind of improve the matters in that? Because I know it is still an issue. Well, I'm actually a PATH student, technically. You know, I, I'm on PATH campus. Um, but I was lucky. Last year, I actually won the Amalgamation Award for DCU, PATH and All Hallows. Okay. So I got to see that amalgamation happen and loved every minute of it. I think DCU taking over PATH, I'm going to be killed with. It was one of the best <laughs> things to ever happen. And people don't realise that that allows societies to grow and that allows things like Drama Sasak to encourage more members and put on bigger shows and MPS to do a bigger broadcast and Style Sock to have a bigger show, you know, and dance to encourage all these people. I think that's a huge thing. But I think we need to start taking down the barrier that it's Pats and DC and yes. this amalgamation. The amalgamation has happened now. Mm-hmm. What I want is that amalgamation to be confirmed mm-hmm. and for people to feel that they can go up to DC or come down to Pats and it's not... They don't have the facilities. So yeah. that's one thing I'm a manifesto that I'm very concerned How would you do that? What do you think? You so know? I want facilities down in parts. I want space being brought in. I want the idea of um, room bookings to be made much easier down in, in parts because it's not up to date as it is in DCU. Mm-hmm. Um, I want people to feel that they can go to parts and it's not a bad thing. Yeah, you're not invading on You're not invading campus. on Pats. Yeah. I think people need to learn that the Pats <clears throat> is now DCU and yeah. DCU is now Pats. You know, yeah, and exactly. All Hallows is included in that. Okay, yeah. And there's so many things you could do in All Hallows. I don't know why it's the lost city of campuses right now because <laughs> there's rooms there, you could have a ball in there. There's so much you could do in, in All Hallows that people wouldn't even think of. And I think the Halloween ball really proved that this could be an, an amazing event. Um, but one thing I really want to do is break down that. I want to have, you know, if it's on DCU, well, then it's on DCU campus. It just so happens that it's on campus. If it's in Pats, it's on Pats campus. This, you know, St. Pats, where Pats and where DCU needs to be broken down. And I think I can really make that through with societies, especially with interest society events, that you can feel that you can go down to Pats, like media in the classroom with MPS. An amazing event, because as teachers, uh, like as I'm a teacher, needs to have that you know what I mean and, and those kind of events that you're kind of going yeah that really helps and it would help with the teaching society which is helping a lot of other people doing other things that they need so like for nurses and interns stuff for yeah. placement that they have all this information so I think there's a lot we could actually do for the amalgamation okay brilliant well I think that's everything we need for the thanks moment so, so thanks so much and best of luck in the election oh thank you so sir what made you want to be what made you want to run for this position? Well, basically, I'm really, really involved with societies on campus, um, that and clubs as well. And I think they're a huge factor about like social life in DCU. Like when I came to DCU, I literally didn't know anyone because I went to school on the south side, and they all just went to UCD. So I thought this is my opportunity to get involved with societies and make loads of new friends. And that's what I did. I got really involved with MPS last year, the Media Production Society, because it kind of tied in with my course as well. Mm. So I really wanted to communicate. The year I went for communications points went up, so I got English and media. But I was still really happy to be on campus. So I was like, okay, how do I get involved with more practical, like angles of kind of media industry, like technology and film and editing and so on? Because I'm kind of doing just media theory 
and English. So I joined MPS and I was doing radio, TV, I got involved with their 24 hour broadcast which was brilliant. It was yeah. for the Peter McBerry Trust and they um, raised about 15 grand for yeah. which was insane. And what do you think you can personally bring to the role? Well, one thing that I've been talking about a lot is from talking to different committee members of different societies, they're kind of asking for a permanent space on campus, like to store equipment or somewhere they can meet 24 seven, because usually they go to like a lecture hall and you know, it might be busy or it might be difficult to get a space. Mm -hmm. um, I know for DCU dance, they sometimes struggle with getting a space um, and like they need quite a big space if they're you know, practicing. Um, I went for an audition for one of the squads a few months back and literally the, the room changed three times just because there was booking issues and things like that. And of course, you know, a lecture is gonna come before yeah. Society. So that was kind of a problem this year and I know this year we were actually unfortunately without our SOX officer for half the year. Um, but just next year if you were to get the, the role, what would you do differently so that that kind of thing wouldn't happen or what, what do you think could be improved? Um, well, basically um, we have a new SU building being it's nearly finished so I'd hope to ensure that we have that permanent space for societies and an area for clubs and societies so people can come approach me as well and you know they know exactly okay Sarah is the society's officer and such and such is the club's officer so they know where we are and they know where to come to basically um, and I think that way being approachable it'll be more like there'll be more engagement with new students coming in next mm -hmm. year. And just another thing this year um, there hasn't been it, it's fair to say there hasn't been as much interest in the SU um, just in terms of candidates actually running for positions for SOCs there's still a few but for some positions like for president there's only one person running um what what do you think you could do to encourage students to actually participate in SU activities and just encourage them to kind of be excited about the SU or do you think there could be an, anything could be done yeah better? you're you're dead right like I was kind of upset when I heard only one candidate is going for president um, and no female candidate for president either mm -hmm. so I was kind of upset by that and I think you know I was so impressed by the SU last year um, one like one person I was wowed by was Cody Brown, the welfare officer last year, who did so much each week to ensure people were getting involved and you know there was something happening on campus every day. And I think that way they kind of need to have things happening all the time, showing that the SU have a strong presence here on campus. And that way people will say, oh, well that actually looks like like a lot of fun. I'd love to go for that next year. Mm -hmm. um, and like there are full-time positions where people get paid to be on campus, run events, and you know make sure all the students are okay if they need anything you know and like it's not it's not an, a boring job you know and it needs to be advertised like that mm -hmm. so and so what do you think could be done to encourage people just to to encourage people to actually participate in it they need to like show that it is an interesting position um and like they can contribute a lot to society by you know having the position and doing it well yeah so if it's seen that it's it's kind of something that actually contributes to the to the campus and to the college overall I think people will go for it way more great and just the last thing um so the amalgamation of the campuses was a big issue last year um, and I know this year a lot of societies are trying to kind of have events that run both on Glasnevin, the All Hallows and the Pats campuses what do you think um as a societies officer you could do to kind of encourage societies to have you know, events throughout the, all the uh, campuses and kind of have more of an amalgamation and more of a, um, more of a kind of open society. Yeah, I think that's like a, a huge problem like that needs to be addressed. Like it's something I talk about a lot in my manifesto. There needs to be more interaction with the different campuses. Like I know MPS are doing workshops, so they're trying to do them more on different campuses, mm -hmm. but they need, other societies need to follow in that where they do um, workshops and meetings and events on different campuses. Last year, one event that was really well done by the uh, Indian Society was the Holly Festival, and it's like a colour run, and it was on All Hallows, and it was brilliant. It was it was really really good to include more su students. Um, like it's important because there's so many students down in Paths and All Hallows. Like I think another thing that like an opportunity for this is the clubs and societies fair if you look at the clubs and socks fair on glass M, it's huge it's the entire hall whereas it's the auditorium in Pats by Phil it's a lot smaller and not as many people attend it so that's definitely an opportunity they should do it on all hallows as well for students to get involved with societies okay great well I think that's all we need Thanks so, so uh, best of luck in the election Thank you very much. Thank and you. thanks very much
Well, there you have it. That's what this year's candidates have to say. So don't forget to vote this week. Rachel Martin, DCU TV News.